PlayStation fans, please be honest here. Is Sony getting too confident? Increased price on PS5, price increase on PlayStation Plus, no hype showcase or communication. It has been weirdly quiet, honestly. No focus on Japan. I mean, I think they still are. We just, I'm not in Japan, so I'm not seeing the focus on it. High prices on accessories. That's absolutely true. Insane focus on games as a service. That's also absolutely true. We believe in generations. I mean, I think they deliver in games where it matters the most. It's 50-50 for me. I wish it was better, but not as bad as it could be, you know. But I also feel like things have to change if they want to be 25 million plus PS5 sold by March. I don't know. <coughs> I think... I think it's pretty clear that they're very confident right now. The focus on games as a service, I think, will harm the brand a lot in the coming years. So I think that's going to come back to bite them. That, I think, is a is a problem. I, I also think the high cost on accessories, that probably doesn't harm the bottom line. It probably helps it because they're just releasing more hardware. But I do think it harms the brand because they're just being perceived more and more like they're they're very, very greedy um an anti-consumer frankly increases on playstation plus this is just slimy again harms the brand increased price on the ps5 i think that's more due to inflation it's a less than ideal look but everybody's doing it because of inflation so i don't know what the the brand damage is going to do i don't know how big of a deal that is it might not be a big deal at all people might just be like complaining about it but still buying it just like everybody does with call of duty everybody complains about call of duty but still buys call of duty so it might just be that um i'm not sure but we're gonna find out over the next few years i think it's gonna be pretty telling i don't think like xbox is gonna come out of nowhere and start stealing the show and dominating sales charts or anything i don't think we'll see that at all but i do think we are gonna see a lot of people growing frustrated with playstation can i review concord uh sure this i've totally forgot about this so this was three months ago Concord, a new PvP multiplayer first-person shooter from Firewalk coming on PS5 and PC in 2024. Firewalk. Not actual gameplay. Very Starfieldy. I mean, I have no idea what this is. Judging by this trailer, I'm expecting Overcooked in Space. Why else show such fantastic burger physics? The like to dislike has been very, very negative, though. Um, follow at Play Concord on social media. I don't know what any of this means, though. Like, what was that? Hold on, search. Let's pull up their account. Yeah, that's all they've shared. Like they've shared nothing else. Is this just a brand new studio? Yeah, they joined in April. So they were brought on specifically for this game, presumably. I mean, PlayStation bought them and brought them in just for this game. Interesting. And there's like, oh, the page isn't found. That's hilarious. The link to their blog post is broken. <laughs> that doesn't bode well. I just, uh, I, I mean, I don't have any idea what this game even is about. Introduce Concord new PvP multiplayer FPS. So it's a first person shooter. Again, online PvP. Um, thrilled to confirm the title of our upcoming game, Concord, announced during today's PlayStation Showcase. Concord is our new PvP multiplayer first person action shooter. Um, coming to PS5 and PC in 2024. While we're still hard at work on development, we wanted to share the small introduction to Concord. I mean, okay. But Concord is bringing, is a bringing together of peoples. It's the power of games to build connection and inspire social play. I don't know what the hell that means. The Firewalk team is driven by the type of exciting, unexpected moments and shared experiences that multiplayer games create. Uh-oh. Every time you log on is the beginning of a new adventure, and every match is an opportunity for a new story. It's these ideals that define Concord. 
its unique universe of vibrant worlds, and its rich cast of colorful characters. I mean, these are all buzzwords that I think you could say word for word, and you could just swap out Concord for like Redfall and it would still apply. There's so much more we can't wait to share with you and we're looking forward to fully revealing Concord ahead of launch next year. In the meantime, you can keep up with us by following Firewalk on your favorite social platforms, including Twitter and Instagram. It's just a cinematic trailer that tells us like absolutely nothing. Yeah, I love it when we get a tr reveal trailer that shows us nothing. This is a perfect example of how not to do a game trailer for an unknown game. This is this explained in great detail what we can or what can be expected from a video graphical game. Okay. They put their entire marketing budget on that burger. As an FPS PvP fan, I'm excited to see more about this game. Can't tell much from this, but I like the colorful sci-fi sci look. That's the thing is like I just honestly don't know what the hell this is supposed to tell us. But, I mean, again, you're going to see an ocean, a flood of these types of games coming from Sony in the next few years because that's where they're putting all of their eggs into that basket. Um, or rather, they say that their budget will be the same for single-player stuff. So we'll get the same flow of single-player games, but we will get just as many because they're basically doubling their budgets, but only using that extra budget for multiplayer games. So... We're going to start to see pretty much every single player game like a Spider-Man will be paired with a PVP online, whatever multiplayer game that is pitched as games as a service like that fair games, whatever. Th this is the reaction that PlayStation can start to expect from a lot of these games that they're pouring millions of dollars into like Haven. All these other studios that are working on these projects, they have spent tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars on the development of these games and on acquiring the studios that are producing them. And this is what they're having them make. That worries me because if this is what they're prioritizing and what they see the next generation of PlayStation to be focused on, we're in trouble. If Sony focuses on games as a service instead of single player, the PlayStation will die and lose players. I don't think it'll die like because you ready for MS Paint again. <laughs> we have no other choice. You forced my hand. Um, what they're doing, like if you think about it as a bar graph, uh, uh, Jeff Grubb went through this in his video. That was really good. But if you think about it like this, this is the budget for single player games. OK, and this has previously been the budget for. Um, well, let's actually do it this way. So, yeah, there we go. So this is the budget like for the last few years. Um, and then let's also say that this is the budget for live service games. Okay. In their catalog right now. So a portion of it, a small portion is used for live service games. Like, I don't know what PlayStation live service games are. Uh, I guess destiny, they own Bungie. So I guess you could say that. So this is like destiny, those games. But the vast majority of their budget is being spent on on single player stuff, right? That's where their bread and butter is. So if I just go like this to make it a little easier, and then I also do this, pull that in. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. That's currently, okay, that's their budget. It's probably actually a little smaller than that. It's probably like this. Okay, single player, multiplayer. What they're doing moving forward is that they're going to have the same single player budget, okay? Same size as before but now instead of this little block what they want to do is they want to come in here and basically do this where this top one is games as a service and the bottom one is single player stuff it, the single player budget's the same but they're basically doubling the total budget and spending that much money on live service games so if you just do a one-to-one -one and you're like, okay, so if they release however many of these single player games with these budgets, then they're going to release just as many, but live service games, or maybe a few less because live service games are really expensive to make, but that's what we're going to see. So every time you see, if like you think of a timeline and this is what we're dealing with, if like right here is Spider-Man, Spider-Man, woo, it's also going to be paired with a live service game. So you're going to get fair games or whatever it is 
And then up here, oh, the sequel to, or maybe like, um, I don't know, what's another upcoming one that they've announced? They haven't announced a whole lot, actually, which is why it kind of feels dead at the moment. But I mean, let's say Ghost of Tsushima 2, okay? Ghost of Tsushima 2. Let's just say that. They're going to pair that with The Last of Us Factions. I'm just going to not bother writing this. Oh, that, that name. And then this one up here, the new God of War game. Oh, so that's going to be really popular. And then they're going to pair that with the, one of their other live service games, like this Concord one. And so you're just going to start to see a bunch of games that people really like and probably will do very well, be reviewed really well, along with a bunch of other games that are going to review terribly, frankly, and probably flop. That's my expectation. My question is whether these pull down the brand value and actually end up hurting the perception of these games because they're coming from the same group. Like, I think Ubisoft is capable of putting out some pretty good games, but because of all the other screw-ups that they've made, it brings down their brand reputation, which harms overall sales. My fear for PlayStation is that they're going to start to harm their reputation by putting games out like this. And... People are going to be like, yeah, they also released like The Last of Us Part 3 or whatever. But if this is like their standard, I, I think it starts to harm their reputation. I think I have dyslexia now too. Me too. Yeah, Jarrett. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm never going to stop. Marathon could be a big deal. Could be. We just don't know anything about it. I mean, it's coming from a qualified team for sure that knows their stuff. Um but PlayStation is frankly hoping for one banger out of like six attempts. So you just have to be prepared for like five of these games to release, be reviewed kind of poorly, and then be forgotten within a few weeks. So Sony's going to start to waste a lot of money pretty aggressively. It divides the market. Yeah. And what they're going to do is they're going to, I think they're hoping that multiplayer gamers are totally separate from the gamers that are playing like God of War, Spider-Man, those types of games. So they're hoping that they just don't overlap and people are not getting pissed. The people that are really into The Last of Us are not going to be playing fair games or Concord or whatever. And so they're like, even if they don't review well or aren't received well and they're really monetized, they're not going to care because they're going to be busy with this other single player game that we launched. Maybe that works. It might. Obviously, there's some very smart people at Sony that are convinced it will work. My fear for them is that it damages the brand because we've seen what games can do to a brand when they're released stupid monetized and super toxic and it's not good the problem with live service games is that they eventually die and get shut down that's a huge issue in a historical context oh absolutely absolutely and i my fear is that they're just budgeting that in they're just prepared like yep we're gonna try releasing fair games and then when it's not received well we'll just cancel it and shut it down and then move on to the next one and they're just like, yeah, we only need one banger. So they're just like banking on having a bunch of games that do poorly. He took my thing.